What's up, Piper Drivers? I'm back for another booth tour. Today I'm at the Denua Novo. The Nuo Novo. The Nuo Novo. I'm gonna say <laughs> the new Novo booth here at Star Wars Celebration. We're gonna take a look at some of the helmets they have. They have costume props, as you can see. Uh, it's a costume company uh, for cosplay and that kind of stuff, and you're gonna get some authentic looking things here. So let's start off in the middle. It's because I'm gonna go back to the side, but that is what I'm looking at right here, Jango Fett. This is the first time I get to see a Jango Fett helmet in person. And this is it right here, man, this is cool. So this is already available for pre-order on their website. I just wanted to take a look and see what it looks like in person. I'm loving the way the metal looks on it. It's, it's not clean. I mean, I don't know, the camera's picking up the gloss. You can see that you get like a nice shine to the helmet and everything, but it's definitely weathered. I love the way that looks. You can see all the dirt and grime built up into the, the sides there. You have the viewfinder, which looks really cool. Love the way the visor looks. And I'm really digging the colors. The colors are nice and bright. Nice and bright, sorry. And just a very beautiful looking helmet. Got me thinking I should probably order one. Probably should have took a chance on that uh, sale they had going on. And look, it, it has... Um, it's felt on the inside for you to, to wear. So obviously it's for, you know, for cosplaying, for wearing around. Really awesome looking helmet. All right, let's work our way back. So you got the Imperial Guard. Also nicely done. Very sharp paint. See how the visor looks and everything. So it's really, really cool. We got a Shore Trooper. Now, this is super cool. This is very pretty. So you can see that this is not shiny at all. It's definitely got a lot of weathering in it. I love the way the logo looks like it's kind of weathered off a little bit. So that looks really cool. I like how that looks. And dirt and grime built up and everything. Very well painted. This is a really cool looking helmet. It built up the dirt there. That's sweet. We got the Elite Praetorian Guard. This is from the newer trilogies. Kind of hard to get an angle on it. You can see how that came out. Just like with the uh, Imperial Guard over here, it's got that red look to it. A little bit different red. It's a little brighter, I think, than that one, kind of on the orangey red side in comparison. But sharp lines to the sculpt. And obviously you can see through it right there. This is super dope, super dope, super dope. What am I talking about? Super freaking dope. Infernal Squad Commander Aiden Reis, uh, uh, Erso helmet. Never seen one of these done. Ursio. This is from the video game. So this looks really, really cool. Battlefront 2. I've always liked this one because you got that, that red in it, which looks nice. Again, you're getting the same thing. You got that weathering in it. That kind of looks like a sticker, though. That doesn't look like it's painted. So that's a little bit different. Same here, you can see that there's a line there. So I'm thinking that that's a sticker. But it still looks really nice. We can see some of the details. Very, very neat. Very big helmet. Got it. Very cool. You got red leaders helmet over here. got kind of a green color to it also really nicely done this looks like it's this again sticker from that look I think that's a sticker but these areas here look painted so that's nice you got a regular Imperial TIE fighter helmet so it looks like this is basically the same design as the Iden helmet but the Iden one has the red I like the item one better, in my opinion. But if you're looking for a classic looking helmet, this looks great too. I just like the red color on the other one. I do like that these details like that are more prevalent on this than it is on the opposite one. So very nice. We got uh, Blue Leader's helmet here. Very well done, again. 
for the weathering and the chin strap. Yeah, this is this is nice. Very, very cool looking helmet. Over here we got Gold Leader. So like just like with Hasbro, you know, seems like they're making all of the the pilot helmets. They could just take and paint them. So very nicely done. I love this Clone Trooper Phase 2 helmet. Man, look at that grind built up in here. This is what I like. And then these feel very raised when you touch it. Your hand just happened to graze it. But look at the grind build up. See, that makes me feel like this has been through battle. It doesn't look very shiny at all. Well, it is shiny, but um, it looks like it's been through war. Love the Clone Trooper helmets. That look. Very, very nice helmet. I like that one a lot. We got the uh, Victor II helmet. So this is uh, another one of the Rebel pilots. Sorry, Rebel pilots, Imperial pilots. I apologize. Doing a lot of talking today. <laughs> Probably not gonna have a voice by the end of this. <laughs> Very cool. We got a Ray salvaged X-Wing. This is from the, from the uh, Force Awakens. Again, really like the colors and all the dirt and grime. You can see that this has actually been, you know, weathered in the sand. Look, even the lenses look dirty. Super well painted. This is a nice prop right here. Very, very cool. We got a 501st Clone Trooper helmet, phase two. This looks very nicely painted. You see it's got weathering and scratches all in it. Again, just like with the other one, you got grind build up. I like this a lot. This looks cool. Very cool. First order flame trooper helmet. This is extremely clean. You know, the fran th this particular franchise doesn't, um, the, the newer trilogies, it doesn't really appeal to me, but this helmet looks dope. It's got a really cool design. And I could, you got a cutout so you can see through. We got the at ACT helmet. Looks a lot like the Shore Trooper helmet, but you know, different paint. I kind of like the way the Shore Trooper helmet looks a little bit more because just of the coloring. This is a little cleaner. It's dirty too. Like you can see it's got like thumbprint dirt, like if you're handling it. This looks good. A lot of grind build up here in the lens, in just around the end lenses. This looks really nice. I dig that a lot. Oh my God. I don't know how I didn't see this. Sabine Wren. Check that out. This is gorgeous. This is special. <laughs> I am like super happy to see this. Oh man, I love the color. So you got kind of like a Merlot color. It's purple, but kind of reddish. And you got oranges in there. You can see that they got oxidation in the paint, which looks great. You got some weathering right there, which looks really cool. The visor, the visor, the uh, viewfinder comes down, and but you got a lot of weathering right there. So really well done. The lens is nice and clean. Very clean looking helmet. Very clean looking helmet. All right, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today is the helmets here over at the Nuo Novo. You can also get costumes. So you can see these costumes here which look good. Here's the jacket for Han Solo, which looks great. It's got like, this is leather. Obviously very high price, but you know, you get, the, you get what you pay for, a nice quality. So when you get a chance, if you're here at Star Wars Celebration, check out this booth. But for those of you guys at home, I hope you're enjoying these booth tours. Please let me know what your thoughts are of everything in the comments below. Stay tuned for more booth tours. And until next time, may the force be with you.